All right, guys, so here we are in episode number, I believe it is 28, and we are starting off with some shocking news. I just got word from the front office that you've been dealt to the Rangers. Are you kidding me? The Rangers? You've got to be kidding me. We got traded to the Rangers? I'm afraid so. I'm sorry, son. Sure wasn't my choice. Not what I had in mind. What a way to start this episode. This is just a part of the game. The glitch. I'm sorry if it's upsetting. Trying, try not to take it personally though. Just things try. Uh, just things not to finish out with these guys. This is obviously unfortunate, but man, you know what? Uh, it is one of those things in life where you know it's like Poppy Cap actually said. You know what? Uh, baseball is basically a business. There's a fun side and there's a business side. And this is just one of those business sides. I still can't believe Papa Cap got traded to the Rangers. And here we are. Are we in AAA as well? Ma okay, here we go. Let's see what this new manager says. Hey, the glitch. Welcome to our new home. Until you play your way up to the next level, that is. All right. Happy to have you join us. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, thanks. I'm pleased to be here. Poppy Cap just has to be happy with every situation, you know? I understand the dynamic you left may have been rocky. Listen, we just think we got a great deal on a heck of a talent. You might be right about that. All right, here we go. Just so you know, you got a clean slate here, the glitch. We're very confident in our choice and delighted to have you. Okay, so this is very interesting. Poppy Cap just got traded to the Texas Rangers, you've got to be kidding me. I want to actually take a look. Who did we get traded for? I actually want to see. Let's see. Let's take a look at transactions. Let's see this completed transactions. Okay, here we go. We're going to have to look for our name. Here we go. The Rangers acquired the glitch Poppy Cap from the Orioles for starting pitcher Christopher Hills. So this guy is now on the Orioles. Let's take a look at this guy. We got we got to take a look at this because I really can't believe that Poppy Cap got traded. He got traded to the Rangers. Now I'm not gonna say that the Rangers are a really bad team. They might be. They, I, I have to take a look at how they are contention wise. But really, the Rangers. Okay, so it was a starting pitcher. Let's look for him. Christopher Hills, I believe his name was. Okay, okay. Let's see, Christopher Hills. 25-year-old prospect. Okay. He's got some MLB service, and he's got an A potential. So maybe the Orioles did luck out, but really, Poppy Cap gets traded. What a way to start this episode. What is up, guys? It's your boy, Cap. As you guys just saw, we got traded to the Texas Rangers. Man, it's really, really unfortunate. But you know what? It's a clean slate. Maybe we'll get we'll get maybe called up sooner rather than later. Here's our agent John Kent calling us the glitch. I just wanted to check how you are feeling about this trade. I'm excited to help out the Rangers pursue a championship. Let's go over here. Not exactly what I had in mind to be honest. I mean, Bobby Cap wouldn't mind being a Texas Ranger, but you know what? A trade is a trade. We wanted to get out of Baltimore, but we basically upgraded from like. Uh, and uh, like a D minus team to like a D plus team. So, I mean, we'll see how the Texas Rangers really are. Sorry, Glitch, this wasn't my doing. We can't foresee everything. Eh, I guess I'll live with the cards I've been dealt. Exactly. You just have to, you know, play with the cards that you've been dealt. And it's your call to either play with the cards that you've been dealt or, you know, bluff the heck out of it. So, we're going to get into this first game. Here we go. So, Poppy Cap is new to the team. He's going to hopefully try to make an impact. We got Julio Benitez, a Julio at first base. Very, very nice. We got Chu, a veteran out there in left field. Okay, let's get this game underway because I want to definitely make an impression for Poppy Cap. So let's see right here. We're going to be here at Bayfront Park. Okay, 34 and 32. We are the Nashville Sounds. This used to be the uh, Oakland Athletics uh, AAA affiliate from what I last remember. But here we go. All right, Poppy Cap in a new uniform that is absolutely insane just to see Papa cap is a texas ranger something i never thought i'd see as we're gonna fix this camera angle real quick offset here we go you see this whole thing so here we go Papa cap as a texas ranger well technically he's a nashville sound i really wanted him to of course you know be at least called up but we'll see who's in the who's in the organization we do know that joey gallo is on the team so we'll just hope to see who else is on the team because you know what we'd like some great teammates and there we go Papa gap gets his first hit as a nashville sound as part of the texas rangers organization i feel bad for the orioles to be honest think about it they lost on a great guy like Papa cap we're talking about future mvp future all-star potentially future hall of famer 
All right, here we go. We're going to be making our first defensive play out here in center field. So let's just hope we can make a very, very good impression on our teammates and the coaching staff. There we go. It's going to be a fly ball to center high in the air. Poppy Cap's going to get in under it. Man, very, very nice play. Nonchalant. Nothing too bad. Nothing too bad. We got a one nothing lead, though, in the second. So here we go. Let's see if we can hopefully do well for the rest of this game as we get another chance in the same inning. Okay, Poppy Cap's starting to get some work out here in center field so here we go let's see if we can make another great play or just something you know what nothing too hard you know there we go see him jogging to the ball oh he almost he almost overran just a bit but there we go we make the play very very nice catch by the glitch in the game so here we go we're gonna be stepping up for our second at bat of the game we got a single to left field in our last at bat let's see if we can do a little bit something better here we go come on poppy cap all right oh fastball inside and it's gonna be enough to get through i did not think it was actually gonna be hit all the way to right but it it was really hit uh for a single not the greatest of contact but hey i'll take another single we got another play this is now the top of the fourth Poppy Cap has been absolutely not, not he's been he's had an absolutely great debut. Two for two with of course two hits, two singles, and now he's already made two plays. Let's see if we can make another one. And we're not gonna get there in time. The runner takes from second to third, man. It would have been nice if we got there, but we we're playing a little bit deep. All right, here we are, leading off the top of the six. We've already got two hits, two for two. We're batting a 1,000 with the new team. I don't know if we have a new starter batting average, but let's go. All right, good eye on Poppy Cap. We're still first, though, on the team with 27 bombs, something you rarely see. And we have yet to hit the all-star break, which is absolutely insane as we rip a cutter. But a little bit early. Okay, okay, it's cool, it's cool. One and one count. You know, Poppy Cap... Here's the thing with Poppy Cap. He sees this trade as a new opportunity. He saw that, of course, the Orioles weren't invested in an opportunity with the glitch in the game. And it's a little bit unfortunate because, you know what? Poppy Cap has so much to offer, and he's still in the minor leagues. They're basically treating him like if he was Vlad Jr. on the Orioles. It was very, very upsetting, but you know what? He's going to take advantage of this and hope to get called up. All right, here we go now for the fourth at bat of the game. We're three for three. Dynamic challenge. Focus up. That's right. Let's see if we can advance that runner. Here we go. We got one out, though. Let's try and avoid a double play. We are three for three. Come on, Puppet Cap. Good eye, good eye. They're trying to make us chase or get under it some way, somehow. Bayfront Park, famously known for where Kooks plays for his Diamond Dynasty games. But here we go. This is Puppet Cap's time to make an impression here at this new field it's gonna be hit to right field but it's gonna be right at the right fielder he hit it a little late but you know what three for four not a bad day out, the, out with the sticks you know and unfortunately we are gonna lose this game three to two in our debut man it's really really sad we went three for four though but nothing really much after that but not a bad debut now let's hope we can do better in this next game we go we're playing against the elk Paso Chihuahuas. I didn't realize that now, but here we go. Here we go. Poppy Cap. As part of the Nashville Sound, still very hard to believe. We were part of the AAA team of the Orioles. But you know what? Hey, it's a fresh new start. And of course, with every new start, you gotta, you know what? You know, take some time. And of course, we swing early on a cutter. Please go foul. Don't catch it. He's gonna make the play. If we just waited on that cutter, we definitely would have, of course, hit a home run. But we were early. So here we go. Next at bat for the glitch in the game. We got runners on the corners, though. Two outs. Top of the third. We are down by two. Come on. One swing and we're up by one. Come on. Pop a cap. Oh, that was ready to hit. That was ready to be hit. 500 feet. But unfortunately, not right there. We were a little bit early, the 106 off the bat. Come on, Poppy Cap. And they're going to pick off the runner on first. Okay, okay. I understand you're scared of Poppy Cap. Think about it. He has 96 power, I believe, against lefty. So, yeah, I'd be afraid to, to pitch to him. Let's go. Come on. 0 one, one count to the glitch in the game. Oh, it's a little outside. It's a little outside. So, come on. If hopefully we can just make a, some type of contact, at least drive in one run, that is what we want. Come on. There we go. Hit to right field. There you go. Make a name for yourself. That is out of here. That's what I'm talking about. Block at the opposite field. Power by the glitch in the game. He makes it a 3-2 to two game. First home run with the new team with the Nashville Sounds. You know what? I think the Texas Rangers honestly won this trade. It's unfortunate the Orioles really didn't see much in Poppy Cap, but you know what? Hey, that's their fault, and they honestly lost that. But take a look at this. Take a look at this. Ready? Outside fastball. They knew they were pitching up and away the entire series. He just waited on one that looked like a strike and just 
pushed it with power. That's exactly what we did. Let's take a look at the stats on this swing. Of course, you can see the ball just taking off like that. 419 feet, 106 off the bat. What an absolute monster hack by the glitch in the game. All right, now we're going to be making a play out here in center field. Thanks to Poppy Cap Swing, we are now winning 3-2 to two as we get a fly ball to center. And just like that, the glitch in the game makes the play. This is the first time I actually just changed this camera angle. I didn't even know that existed. That was absolutely insane. Here we go. We are now down 4-3. to three. Okay, yeah. We're not going to end like this. Here we go, Poppy Cap. You already have one hit in the game. That was the home run. Now, if you want to make it two home runs... No one's going to complain about that, especially someone on your team. So here we go. Want to know Kansa Puppet Cap? All right, good eye, good eye. That was a cutter away. Of course, see how they notice they pitch away? They're going to find. They're gonna try and find a way to throw a weak, pit or weak spot pitch. But here's the thing about Puppet Cap. He doesn't have a weak spot as he hits that to left field. No doubter. Kiss it goodbye. Gone to left field. Second no doubter of the game. Now he hits it to left field. Fastball inside. He just crushed it. 385, that's the distance I had to travel then. 101 off the bat. So every hit that Poppy Cap hits for a home run is definitely not a cheap hit. He definitely hits him hard and he deserves him. I mean, just take a look at this replay. I mean, take a look at it. He's waiting, he's waiting. They pitched away and they thought they'd sneak one in, low one in. But you know what? Nah, he was ready for anything coming his way. Just like that, it was a pretty high fly ball, but it was enough to travel out of here. 101 off the bat, 385 feet. Can you stop him? All right, now Papa Cap with a 5-4 lead. Like I said, he's basically been the entire offense. Power swing to advance a runner. That's what we're going to do. We're going to power swing, and they walk us. They walk us. Hey, I'd be afraid to, especially with a guy who already has two home runs against you. You don't want to make it three, so you walk him. Hey, smart decision all game long. And now we are in extra innings pop a cap here in the 10th inning you know what we got to drive in the run that's how you make a name for yourself that is how you become clutch and they walk us again oh, oh my god pop a cap is a force to be reckoned with two home runs and two walks i mean we failed because they didn't throw a pitch to us how do you mean we failed all right, now we're fast forwarding to the top of the 11th. We got a 6-5 lead with the bases loaded. You want to walk us now? Oh, you're going to pitch to us now. All right, here we go. Bases loaded. One thing to do. We got a swing. And that was a splitter low. Thank God we only got a piece of it, and it just went foul. So here we go. Come on, Poppy Cap. One swing. It's a 10-5 game. Look for something to crush. That's going to be a fastball lowing in, and I don't think anybody's going to get there. The center fielder misses it. That's going to go all the way to the wall. Poppy Cap's going to be chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging and chugging. Is he going to make it a three? And he is without even sliding. That's how confident he was. A bases clearing triple. Two home runs in the game and a bases clearing triple. The way he got those hands in with that fastball inside he knew that it was gonna go all the way to the wall that was textbook hitting and now we got a nine to five lead thanks to the glitch in the game like i said he's been the entire offense so look at him he barely has to move for that ball look at him just nonchalantly make the catch absolutely insane i think we got this game under control and just like that we celebrate a victory and i think there's only one man you could thank for player of the game, and that is Papa Cap. Two uh, two home runs, a triple, and seven RBIs. He single-handedly defeated the Chihuahuas by himself without and without any trouble. I mean, it was absolutely insane. And if this is the way we're gonna produce, hey, Texas Rangers, I'm winning for that call-up. All right, guys. What a way to start and end this video. One of the best hitting performances I've ever seen, especially for a debut on a new team. So if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. If you guys enjoyed this video of the Glitch in the Game Poppy Cap, and of course, subscribe to the channel. It is very much appreciated. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see y'all later. Thank mm -hmm. you.